Hi, I'm Chuck Woolery. Welcome to season three of In Conversation. In this series, I talk to former directors of the United States Mint retirement educators and precious metals experts about subjects that affect you and your financial goals. So I hope you find our conversations educational and hopefully informative. You know, I would venture to say that probably most Americans don't understand the value of owning gold. And many wouldn't know where to even purchase precious metals. So why should Americans buy precious metals? And more importantly, why is U.S. Money Reserve the best place to purchase gold, silver, and other precious metals to diversify their financial portfolio? I can't think of anybody who could answer this better than Angela. So I'm going to go to you first, Angela. Well, at U.S. Money Reserve, we have 400 employees dedicated to customer service. Uh, we have multiple product lines, so we can do a full solution for you, whether you're on the retirement side or you're looking for those physical assets at home. I think, obviously, with customer service being number one, our other two biggest advantages are education. So we brought over uh, Mr. Chastain over here from Vanguard to be able to educate customers from the knowledge base that he has outside of the gold industry, bringing it to our customers who are also familiar with other institutions and the way they operate and the way those assets are compiled and how they keep track of them. And then we brought these two MIG directors in and they make sure that the quality of the product that we're offering, the way that we offer it, and every part of the process is done correctly. Uh, one of the rarities are the number of MIG directors that have ever served in this position since the beginning of the founding of our country. Only 40 people. We have number 35 and we have number 38 uh, s sitting right here. So um, uh, not only does U.S. Money Reserve have one mint director, it has two. And the reason why it has two is I've looked at Philip. I've looked at the reputation that he's built uh, over all this time. Uh, he was confirmed by the United States Senate. He had to go through the FBI background check. And he's not going to let anything destroy his reputation, right? And he's been in, uh, involved with U.S. Money Reserve for quite a while. I admired that. Now, he comes from a Democratic side of the aisle. I come from the Republican side of the aisle. And we just thought, A, I trust Philip, and Philip trusts USMR. So I want to start getting involved. And uh, we have just found that uh, Philip and I just work so well together. And we bring um, not only a similar perspective coming in, but we are different enough that we get the whole picture. And with that, uh, I think uh, uh, that lends a lot of credibility to a customer that's unsure as to whether or not that gold company is really what it says it is. The last point I want to make uh, is what uh, Angela brought up before. Uh, I'm involved uh, on the um, precious metal IRA side of USMR. Right. And uh, dealing with uh, people's retirement savings, people have to trust the company that they uh, that they uh, use for that. And one of the things that uh, is really hard is it's very complicated and we need good educators. Well, uh, uh, USMR figured that out right away. And this mm -hmm. gentleman is one of the top educators from one of the largest companies that deals in this area. An allocation to gold was something that I consistently saw missing from the portfolios of so many folks. Oh, is that true? Is that right? Absolutely. That's surprising Absolutely. to me. It's not something that financial institutions really have even an ability to offer at the physical level. They'll offer paper gold, ETFs, and companies in our mining stocks and the like, but it is not the same as owning actual physical gold. And time and time again, I first saw it in 2008, 2009, where having an allocation to gold would have really helped protect folks that ended up having to work many years longer than they had originally planned to work because of the impact that that had right at the time that they were planning to retire. And throughout history, having an allocation to gold has helped protect portfolios. It's been missing in the portfolios of so many, and that's what ultimately brought me here to So we just filled that gap. Exactly. Yeah. You know, that... Uh, sometimes I'm asked, why did you go to U.S. Money Reserve? When, when I left uh, the Treasury Department, uh, I had been Chief of Staff at Treasury, uh, then Director of the United States Mint. I, I had a number of opportunities. Uh, U.S. Money Reserve was really interesting to me. I had built a reputation uh, in turning around the United States Mint, and the cornerstone of how I built that reputation was with customer service. 
uh, and with a deep commitment to customer service. And that's one of the things I was looking for when uh, I uh, look for my next, next thing. I will not return to certain places if they have bad customers. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to mm -hmm. be, you know, bothered with them. But you get a company that has great customer service, you're going to return to that company because that's what you want. Well, and that's especially it. important when you're talking about the level of financial investment people. I mean, you're not buying, you know, a refrigerator. Right. You're buying financial security for your family. And what's more crucial to people and having confidence in who you're dealing with for something so crucial is, is you know, top of mind for Especially people. in the retirement area. What we do on the retirement side of the, of the business is help folks protect a portion of their existing retirement accounts, their mm -hmm. IRAs or 401ks from an employer, roll it over to an, uh, a gold-backed IRA where they can own actual physical precious metals. And that is a, a lifelong relationship. This is an account that somebody needs to be taking eventually distributions from for the, for the rest of their life and passing it on to heirs. And this is one thing that really sets U.S. Money Reserve apart is that we maintain that relationship. We don't just sell the gold, but we help our customers every step of the way later on. When it comes time to take the required distributions, we'll help them with that. We'll help them decide if they want to take actual physical precious metals. They can take a distribution and receive that in kind is what it's called, where the mm -hmm. metals are shipped to their home, or they can receive cash if they prefer to have it transferred mm -hmm. to the bank account, and we mm -hmm. stay with them through the course of that account in their life. Well, let me say one other thing. It's not an accident that the level of customer service and the quality of the product and delivery of the product, that, that does not happen by accident. It happens from the top of a company. And the person who's at the top of this company, who is driven that, just happens to be to my left. She is, she, I mean, she doesn't get the credit and the recognition for what she's been able to build over the last 12 years that I've been with the company. She's been with the company for 20 years. So her roots are deep in this company and in this industry. And uh, it's just been a, a great pleasure for me and a confidence building uh, builder for me to work with her and see that commitment. If, if I'm a gold owner and I have a box of gold uh, and I don't want to pass it down to my kids. I want to buy something. I, I need, I need the cash. I, it's always kind of weird as to, I can't, I'm not going to go to a, if I want to buy a house or a car, I'm not going to a color de car dealership and go, well, here's so much gold. Will you take that? Cause they <laughs> not yet. probably wouldn't, <laughs> not yet. right? Not yet. <laughs> not someday yet. It may come to that. Well, but... someday it may come to that. Okay. So how do I convert this gold back into cash? Um, so if you're an existing customer, um, you would call your account executive and they would work you through that. And so we have liquidity right here. You weren't going to send you to another third party or somewhere else to be able to do that. We do that right here. So you would convert that to cash for me? Yes, we would. And we also, customers come to us that aren't existing customers that didn't buy from us. And we are often able to help them too. And they become new customers. Hmm. You know, we have 400 employees all dedicated to making sure the customer's experience and their journey is perfect. Um, it starts with us and then, you know, every department we have, and we have a full staff and everyone here in the United States and here in the office, you're not going to find our employees at home. They're going to be in the office, making sure that your needs are taken care of. We research education and data every day. So our customers are up to date on everything that's going on, where it's geopolitical, whether it's based on gold, based on what's happening with banks. We, as soon as we know, they know, and we give that information to them. And I don't think every company and our industry does that. Once the sale is done, it's done. And we, they don't keep educating them to make sure that that's still where the path they want to go, or maybe they want to, you know, invest more or less. You know, we keep doing that as a service. And every customer that comes in gets the same level of service, whether you buy one coin or 100 coins. I hope this is informative to you, ladies and gentlemen. And we really appreciate you joining in conversation. And we'll see you next time. If you would like to learn more about why physical gold should be an important part of your portfolio, simply request the complete guide to buying gold, which will provide you with important, never seen before facts and information you should know about making gold, silver, and platinum purchases. I'm Chuck Woolery. Thanks a lot for watching In Conversation.